Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and right now, we approach to the conference finals, in between the Eastern and Western Conference. One of each teams will be heading to the finals, and win the whole thing. Who will it be? Find out after the NBA playoffs, in between the games. It's coming up next, after this. everyone and welcome back to the conference finals. This time we've already finished our yesterday's part of the last night game of the Bucks and Heat. Heat has already made their extension. Now they're in the lead to take it over Milwaukee. So far we're not sure who's going to be heading to the finals but you will see later then. And for the next matchup I have something a little bit convenient about so we have a number one. That's right. As Golden State Warriors are already in extension lead duo, they're about to rematch against the Suns. And the Suns is definitely the toughest team right there. Right behind the hole, I see Devin Booker. <laughs> you totally got me that one, you have good eyesight. But not for this one. It was tough for me to think about it. So anyway, it's time for Game 3 here at Chase Center. And along with me here on the Halftime Show and Post Game Show, we will be back here. And that will be the next commentators on the line. That will be Set of Beast and me phone here for these for the crews of the uh, commentators tonight. So it's time to send you down to San Francisco to start the game. Let's see who will win the next game. And remember to subscribe to his channel. If you don't, somebody will. Let's get on to this game. Hope you enjoy it. Traffic, traffic with this jamming here in the Golden State Bridge. And it's in here in San Francisco for tonight's game. Welcome everyone to a Western Conference Finals. I am Set of Beast along with Mika. This is a presentation of the Western Conference Finals of the Suns and Warriors. And the sidelines will be David Aldridge. And we have a lot of great athletes who will take it all from here to ready to get things on the board. Here's DA. Thank you, Kevin. The Warriors are trying to fight their way back to the mountaintop. Draymond Green says we were the hunted for five years, and now we're hunting again. That's always a fun position to be in, going after everybody else. I love hunting. That's fun. Guys, back to you. And I love the hunting of the only building. We got a lot of good to say. Thank you, David. We got some great uh, highlights in between those two guys. I'm always uh, thinking of the, the Stephen Curry and the other teammates. I'm looking for a way to get right into the game. Sometimes even I'm noticing that the players have it all done man, and they're ready to get things on the board. I'd like to see which player who had the most and get right into this one where they have. The starting groups are on the board as key matchup is in between Chris Paul and Stephen Curry. 
The one thing I'm looking for is Stephen Curry keeping an eye on here on the target. But sometimes here for Chris Paul, he has a lot of them going right down for the books. There's lots of players that might be going for in between those two. I might be thinking there might be only one. We'll see how that happens if it flies on by. And the ball has been tipped away as the Warriors and Suns start the game all fueled up and ready to go. In between the uh, starting at the matchups, it's it's Jay Crowder in the point forward. Then it's Chris Paul in point guard. Nicole Bridges in small forward. DeAndre Ayton in center and Devin Booker in shooting guard. Along with the other two, Thompson, Clay Thompson, here in the small forward position. Andrew Wiggins in point forward. Jordan Poole into the shooting guard, Stephen Curry for shooting guard, and Draymond Green is in the center. Draymond Green always knows he's got a great smarter changeup that might be going for an R1 to keep an eyes on the rhythm. I'm pretty sure that might be going for an R1. The air ball has been released here on Jay Crowder. Not a great sight at all. That turns into be a Warriors ball. That's a better, a bad angle releasement here. Because of uh, because of what happens here, he was not focusing with the shot. Sometimes it was too much to keep it quite a target of momentum. Green moves over to Clay Thompson. He swings inside, shoots one. And his first foul is called on Nicole Bridges. That will be his first personal first team foul. In between, you can call that one here. Clay Thompson was definitely working his way inside to keep an eye on the rhythm. It is a lot of hard traffic and transition. We got some, a lot of momentum to go from here. Clay Thompson is at the free throw line shooting two free throws and going for a first look here at the target in game three. First free throw sent it in. And we know that Clay Thompson wasn't here last season. Because of that one, it was on the pandemic that happened already. He was unable to, to attend here for the 2020-21 season. How does it really turn out that Clay Thompson wasn't here at the game? Well, I'm going to have to tell you this one here. It's a lot of a hard dedicated of the work. Sometimes it looks like the players are need some a little hydration out there. Keep an eye on the set. And maybe there might be one thing to get back into another. If they wanted to go for it, they try to knock it down. Here's Paul. He's passed up by Booker. Poole watching him. That first layup shot is goes in for Devin Booker. Devin Booker has his first bucket in game three. Now for the one thing that you need to know here about Devin Booker was definitely playing hard. Their teams are not looking very good for the uh, for the last couple of many seasons here from the decades. To, uh, to to five years ago here over the season. It was enough to try to like keep the momentum out there. Just like the Warriors they had, they might be looking for an R1. That first target went off the throw for Clay Thompson, and now it's Stephen Booker over to Jay Crowder. Great check by Andrew Wiggins. And it's DeAndre Ayton with the dunk. He put a lot of hard pressure out there, looking for a way to try to stop their run. Here's Curry, pass to Thompson. Thompson moves back to Poole. Takes the arc. That shot target is missed. Chris Paul back the other way. 2.45 left to go. Takes a step back. Good hustle on the D. And DeAndre Ayton gets it back. That's his second bucket of a night in game number three. Every season of East of Game 4 is hard to try to keep it inbound and try to get right back where they have one. They definitely do that at all. What an encounter mate, man, that they have in the transition. Sometimes it's not really that hard enough to get right into the game. And what a great playoff drive here for Jordan Poole. He is delivering things like a heat maker. And Curry has the assist here as himself for Poole will be able to hit the free throw line shooting one. And if you're really upset with the uh, Rangers, well, they're already out. Because of that one here, we could have seen them play against, uh, play against the other team and then make it to the Stanley Cup Finals. But now, who do you would like to say? Would you want Avalanche to win? Or you, if you want the Bolts to win? Well, 
you gotta know your answers here. <laughs> I, I don't know about that one here. If I'm really just desperate about the New York Rangers here, they already beat, got beaten against the Bolts. You know what I want? I want to see Colorado win the whole thing because I'm really I'm done with this one. I am not. I am not gonna go with uh, Tampa Bay because they already got won two in a row since in 2020 from the pandemic. They already beat against Dallas. So I really like to say that one for Colorado win. Clay Thompson makes the three downtown. They have the lead up in front. It's five points for Clay Thompson. Here's Chris Paul. Step back over Curry. And that makes a shot with an easy bucket too. That one puts it back up here with his first bucket in the game three. Here's Poole outside. He goes right back to Curry. He moves over to Draymond Green. Around, around, in. And I never missed by Golden State. I'm telling you this way here, DeAndre Ayton was definitely going to try to stick it up right now. And for the most of the part, it is going to be a bad wicket out there to try to keep the range out of momentum. Now Poole going to attack it. It's deflected by Booker. What a stop here for the defenders on the offense attack. And with that one, it now changes to the Suns ball. Here's Booker. Pass over to Aiden. Watching Curry. Bridges outside. Goes right in the middle. Shoots it up. And it makes a great drive for DeAndre Aiden. And McCall Bridges with the assist. He got a great attacking moment out there. Got a great use of the stick. And look for the handball control man. He really got it all down. Screen coming in for Draymond Green. Pool inside the attacker. It's rebounded by Wiggins. Now it's Green outside. Play for three. Got it! That is back in the ball game and it's down by two for the Warriors. He's reaching new heights already, looking for another one to try to stop the momentum. And a great attacker, DeAndre Ayton, wide open. Nobody watching him as he already had an upper bucket in after Chris Paul with the assist. Yeah, it looks like no man in the vendors are open already because there's nobody else to help open. They, they got to like find something else to get right into it. Cool, which is up here and across here from the baseline. Here's Paul. He goes right back. Half court shot time. And it won't be in just in time to make the half court shot of the buzz beater. So, that wraps it up with the first period. But we'll be back with the second period. Top tight inbound in between the Western Conference Zone, in between Phoenix and Golden State. We'll keep take a quick break when we come back right after this. We have a second quarter coming up as this one is about to be a lead point two for the Phoenix to hit the deck. The most thing that we really talked about it before is the, the player that had all in doubt. The mindful of this one here is putting up a lot of pressure in this moment. Sometimes they really want to see who's got a, a great handoff in between. Also knowing Stephen Curry, he's got a great hand technique here and try to keep this up here on the run. So far, so good. There's a lot of us stuff happening out there. We try to keep the run in the flow. Here's Looney back over to Curry. Three for Porter. Good! That breaks up the lead by one. Here's Payne, covered up by Curry. The Golden State has their own lineups as the second period starts. A lot of man hustling and traffic here as Peyton takes his own rebound. Now he swings to Kaminga. Up and over to Peyton. Peyton back to Curry. Curry moves over to Looney. Just six to shoot. Curry back to Looney. Going inside, attacker float, and a foul is picked up on Lantlet. Lance Shevin. That'll be his first personal, and that'll be their third team foul for Phoenix Suns. There's so much to get right back into it right now. All the players are going right into the attacking zones. Because if this one happens, it got a lot of stuff happening here, and Kevon Looney was picking up his timing to try to get back in, in the zone. They got a lot of work to do.
Looney didn't hit the first free throw, as this one will be the missed target wide. And it's and here's Crew J Crowder. He's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Two free throws here, and it makes another one as it's one and one. Now he has one point, looking for another one here for tonight in game three. Crud, covered up by Poole. He's open pain. In and out. That reaches in here for Looney's rebound. Now takes it over to Curry. Curry right around it. With a labor drive, that makes it in there. And that's Curry with the drive. First bucket in game three. Our games are turning out to be one fantastic moment out there. He's got a lot of points here, streaking two in a row. I don't know if he might streak three games in a row, but let's see what happens if he can try to like take things back in the way he has. Now, here's Peyton. He dishes off to Kabiga. Donald Curry on the outside. Curry finding screen with Kevon Looney. Lost the ball. That turns to be Kevin Payne with the steal. The attacker coming in. Finds McGee over Looney. Holds the rebound. And he just couldn't pick it back in there for JaVale McGee. McGee was heavy on that one. He really liked to try to like stay out of focus here to try to keep the man out of it for any position. Pool for three. It's missed off here as the three-point shot won't count in. Payne on Curry. This off to Shaman. Shaman moving inside over to McGee. Goes up. That missed again. McGee hits two, hits two shots, but it missed off the target for once. He's perfect. He's not perfect anyway because if that happens, well, he's going to be having a hard time to try to keep the ball in momentum. He needs help. Payton for three. Good! And three pointers outside. And it takes it over with, with the first three pointer. Payton on Curry. The first timeout has been called by Phoenix with only 2 2 remaining. They got a good answer on that call. They got to, like, talk it over already. They got to get right into the room again. The NBA Western Conference Finals of 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers, the official vehicle of the NBA. American Express. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Talk to your agent today to get a free quote at 1-800-STATE FARM. Most players are in a hydration right now, and if you talk about the last game that the Warriors have already beat, gotten, taken a beat here, and, and go and take off the other team that had it all right instead. How does it really turn out to be one of the best players in this game? Well, I'm really expecting this one's going to be ever happen, and I know they already beat against Orlando Magics out there. They are playing hard. What a job here for all the players that they have it out there. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be trying to keep their eyes up here and again to do things all over the place. Maybe. Sometimes it might be very tough well, enough to get right from here. Hopefully we'll see them try to keep it up. Thompson back to pool. Swings over to Valencia. Around Crowder. That's a good feed here inside the paint. Valencia gets his first bucket. It's a 23-18 lead. Here he's Crowder. Oh, he just got lucky. And that was Chris Paul with a pass quick assist on that one. He never, he never saw that one coming. He was never going to try to get there in time. He forgot to try to defend the block and try to go right around it. Now here's Green. Green back to Poole. Six on the shot clock. 
around Burgess. That's good. Green gets his first bucket. Everybody is trying to keep the eyes of the buckets here with an open shot. But some of them never really caught on. Well, it definitely did caught on because sometimes they can make the two-point shots. Sometimes they can miss the two-point shots. Now who knows? Defender might be able to try to block it or go with an open look and may and may not even never notice if they can try to get there like he did. Booker knocked down the three-pointer outside the range. They're down by two. 30 seconds to play in the first half. Here's Thompson on the outside. He swings off to Valencia. Right over back to Wiggins. Wiggins right over again to Clay Thompson. Bates looks over to Poole for two. Daz reaches out. Not a good sight here for an open look. He never got him, got him right, but he might need to do it again to try to keep it running in motion. And he wants to let Clay Thompson do it. And here he goes. Can he make it? And he didn't make it in time. So that ends the first half. It's tied now. 25 is the even number. And we have a chance now to go to David Aldridge. David? Kevin, alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball uh, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. All right, DA, we'll be right back with you for the third quarter. Well, I gotta tell you that one. It was the toughest game in between the uh, Pacific matchups. What do you think? Well, I never seen that. Let's have a look. So here's what's happening here. The Suns really got a great looking in between the tricks. Let's start off with you, Blueberry. How do you think that the Phoenix Suns got there? Well, they were trying to take the time for it. It really didn't turn out. And I really would have to tell them. They're trying to keep their lives in the prize. And maybe they might need some help. How about your take for the Warriors, my friend? Well, the Warriors really got a great start. But sometimes they're losing position out there. They need something to get right into the work. Hopefully they can try to keep the range out there and try to extend their lead. Hopefully. And that should do it here, folks. Stay tuned for the post-game show. And right now, let's catch you back here for Swing a Beast and Me Phone. See you later. And we are back right now as we are here for the third quarter. And score is now even in between the two. We talked about this one that Clay Thompson was a delivering man in success. His succeed has always been in his hand. In true deed, it looks like that Clay Thompson really wanted to help their team out to get Charlie into, into work. Sometimes he missed out on the last season's game and really had never returned because of all that happened, they were all missing on him. But now, good to be back here for Clay Thompson. I think he's ready for it. Nice D for DeAndre Ayton as it's missed off target for the start of the second quarter. Second half of the game. Now here's Paul. He's covered up by Clay Thompson. Moves along to the wing, right over to Ayton. Shoots over Wiggins, and that picks up a feed here to hit the backboard. And it's Chris Paul with the assist. Now they're back up in two. Curry back to Wiggins. He finds Curry around Paul. Makes a great drive moment. And Curry gets his second bucket. He really got it all pressured down. He might be seeing what he can do. Try to keep the range out of him like he never did before. Bridges over to Aiden. Around Thompson. That shot went missed. Free trick it by Green. Pool back over to Wiggins. Thompson outside. Pool. And over again to Thompson as they're making the great ball changes here for, for the passes of the Warriors. Green around Crowder. That went tricky and it went off wide. No foul called. It was not easy enough to try to like keep the range of motion. They do not want to mess things up. Booker around Poole, and that saves off a great rebound without the foul call. Poole back to Green. Green swings off to Poole. He swings back to Green. 
Green steps back from the paint. Curry outside the arc. Good and the three pointer. It's Thompson with the six. It is coming back down up by three for the Warriors. Those teams are in a great looking position. It looks like they might be going for it back here for the first time since we haven't seen the Warriors here back playing in 2019. Here's another angle for Curry. Good outside the range. Not a three pointer, but just a two pointer he had. And it's only nine points for Curry, assisted by Green. Interesting to me right now, those teams are on good hands. Rebounded by Clay Thompson. Thompson has received four rebounds here for the game in game three, helping out the team with a missed shot. Here's Thompson. Oh, he just had one hand dunk. What a stop. Now it's tied up now, 10 and 10. Chris Paul on Curry. Booker on Poole. The man guarded up to Paul. And that's a great stop for Chris Paul to keep back on the run again. Now the timeout has been picked up for the Golden State Warriors with only 2.08 to go. I'm pretty surprised about this one here. Those teams are like in a hard shape. They got something else to do to try to keep their man on the run. How does it really take you to try to like keep the bit, keep the players from in and out of here on the court and practice it very hard? Well, it may be a very appropriate to try to like keep it right in the moment. I'm really sure that it's just a hard way to try to like keep the range out of the emotion. We need someone else to try to like keep them out of the range. Sometimes it is very, very difficult to try to keep them, keep them out of the zone. It's not really that easy, but it's very that difficult to try to like keep it outside of, a, of the arc. I know it was very true, but sometimes it may not be caught on if they have it out there right on their own. Now new changes are being lifted here for the Warriors and the Suns. Both new changes are coming in for the Suns and Warriors as all five players checked out and Nicole Bridges moves over to shooting guard. And four players are checked out and four players are checked in. Domingo, Looney, Porter, and Thompson moves over to shooting guard. Porter trying to go around Greg, but he had enough and tried, didn't want to try to take advantage of that. Kaminga around Johnson, fouled and caught the bucket. What a stop by Kaminga, and it's fouled up by, two, by I'm sorry, I forgot what the player is, Cameron Johnson. And that will be a tough run to try to keep Kaminga alive. Now he's at the free throw line, shooting one. It's a tough one to see here that Jonathan Kaminga was really trying to like keep her right in the edge. What a stop, and they have it all down on board. Kaminga hits that down. Now they're back in the board. Phoenix trailing by eight. Johnson back inside. He covered by McGee. A little hard to prevent a double man defender, but it's Porter with the rebound. Now Thompson the other way. Deshaw to Looney. Looney back to Porter. He dish off to Thompson. Great job with the pass floater. And it's Porter with the assist. He is knocking it down right there. What a great feed here for the Warriors to try to pick up their run. McGee on Looney. Passing over to Johnson. Johnson doubled up by the double man defenders. Craig on Thompson. He passed over to Payne. Shoots one up and he makes that shot inside the, inside the rim. That picks it up as first bucket in game number three. For the third period, that's happening to me. What time that Cameron Johnson was he ready? Sometimes he was definitely ready to go. Now Thompson back the other way. He moves back to Curry. Thompson good for three. Boom! That shot's go right back in a money arm. And it's Curry with the assist. Thompson has 15 points with under 30 seconds to go. 
Those teams are really looking to hijack the authority. They need someone else to try to like go big here. Here's McGee. A nice defender by Kevon Looney. Now their team is going to be on the run here. to try to pick up three in a series. Five seconds left here for the Warriors. Porter, back to Curry. Thompson, again for three. He got it! Wow! Amazing shot to make the buzz beater. A save and a making Dalton count it. That puts an end of the run for the for Curry and the team in the third quarter, but we have one more quarter left, and it's the fourth. Stick around later after this break. And a moment now to release these courtesy of State Farm Assist of the Game. It's very tough to me that the players have gotten some great in, in between the tricks. I'd like to see that the other player that we go for, Jordan Bull, right around the rim in the attacking zone, I'm um, here for the first time. He really does cut on that much, but most of all impression, he really got a great helping team. And glad you have you join us here for the fourth quarter as the third Third game is almost comes to an end here for the conference finals before we head on to game number four. So make sure you keep tuning in to my channel. If you don't, somebody will. JaVale McGee has gotten his first bucket here, already quiet here in all three periods, and now he's on the board. You can tell that when JaVale McGee was definitely on enough already. He really wants to get on the pointer, so he doesn't want to miss anything. So with that, he's all perfect in his hand. Curry back to Thompson. Shoots around Shevin. And a tough driving angle. He makes a number two pointer for Clay Thompson. And Stephen Curry with the number assist here. He's delivering his run a bigger moment. Payne on Curry. Calls loose. And it's tipped out. Last touch on Payton. That will be Phoenix ball. Now the new group up change here for the Phoenix Sun Zone as all five players checked out. Aiden, Crowder, Booker, and Paul are checked in. And Johnson keeps in small forward. A tremendous deed of Andrew Wiggins of the Mobile One Block. I'm telling that Andrew Wiggins was like a definite denied shot blocker. He can try to take him down and do what he wants to do. He really got it all in his hand to try to push him out of the way. He likes to do that one again. Paul covered up by Curry, Aiden with the screen. Thompson on call, three to shoot, gonna take one, and no foul called on Golden State Warriors. That's a clean defense for Clay Thompson. He wasn't saying that he was gonna say, I thought that's a call for the foul, but he did not say it anyway, so it looks like he had something else to say. Uh, it was a tough one to try to keep an eyes on the river. Five to go, Curry around him, and that's a tough angle shot as he missed one again. Ball bounce past to Crowder, moves over to Johnson. Johnson on him. Taking big moments here as Aiden moves back to Paul. Five and a clock. The Warriors, I mean the Suns, need to get a shot open. He rebounded by Aiden. And we have a foul called on Clay Thompson. That'll be his first personal first team foul. It's tough enough to get lucky because DeAndre Ayton was going for a rebound. And then he went banged up here on the elbow. And picked him up here on the shoulder one. Now for Ayton. He's covered up here. He's going to take two shots. Not a good call here for, for the team that they really like to hear. It's a bad luck in between. The first one falls. This one is really the tough one. I really like to see what DeAndre Ayton can do. Maybe he wants to try to keep shooting it and get right back where he had it from. Jordan Poole is checked in for Gary Payton the second. The one shot coming in for Ayton. Two free throws coming in for Ayton. The Warriors extend their lead here. They extend by 12. 
Three minutes left to play here in the fourth quarter. Curry tries again. Poole outside the deck. Puts it inside. That's Curry with the assist. And it's a number three pointer for the Warriors to rise it up. Poole has seven. Now they're on the party and they keep it banging out. The trouble sight they need, the trouble sight they want to do. They like to keep the range out of sight. Just five to shoot. And a great feed here for Chris Paul after eight it was bucket. Now he has 14. It's 50-37. Curry back to Clay Thompson. Thompson back to turn Curry. Over to Poole. New changes are being released. Deep three for Curry. And he just couldn't make it in time. As another miss comes up for Golden State. Only two minutes left to play here in the fourth quarter. The clock is winding down. Yeah, with that, sir. And a wow, a spin move. And he went in with a layup drive. That's number two pointer for Chris Paul. He's putting up a lot of heat waving moping. Maybe trying to poke up the other player to try to like keep him out of that sight. Not too much to go for him here. It didn't really catch him the most. Thompson moves it inside. That shot angle was missed. Johnson, Curry steals the ball. Over to Thompson. Back over to Poole. Curry trying to angle it out of it. With a three. Oh, he made it in! What a shot! And he just couldn't make it stop doing this again. He has 12 points. What a believer out there. If he misses that target here, you know he would probably be a little bit more aggressive to try to keep that range. And Aiden slams inside the zone in the middle. That will be another two-pointer release here for DeAndre Aiden. The next timeout has been called by Golden State. With a minute and two to go. With the fourth quarter almost being closed off, 53-41 is your score. The NBA Western Conference Finals of 2K Sports is brought to you by Adidas. Oh, impossible is nothing. Mountain Dew. Do the do. And by your local Kia dealers. The official vehicle of the NBA. So far the teams are in good motion out there. It looks like the new changeup will be released here as I will have Toscano checked in. In between the zoning, zoning attacks, I think we have some time for Jordan, New Balance, player of the game. Yeah, I think we would like to see who's going to be next. Next for game three, the New Balance player of the game goes to Chris Paul. It's a tough one to try to keep it inside the range up. The CP3 never really wants to continue his journey, but he really wants to continue the next, the next career for next season. Sometimes he really would like to take his moment and try to keep it right where he had it before. He knows his stuff. He knows it all. Curry right to Wiggins. Now here's Green. Here's Toscano. Hasn't scored yet here in between the two. Green back to Poole. He swings over to Curry. Harper over Paul. Nice D here for Chris Paul. That changes the other way on Jay Cobb. The goal for Jason Toscano. 35 seconds left. Two pointer carries in for McCall Bridges. They're back down by 10. Here's Curry with the ball. It's off to Poole. Now he swings it to Toscano. Toscano really wants to take his own timing. Back to Wiggins. Driving inside the zone. And Toscano takes the first assist. And it's Andrew Wiggins finally had a first bucket. He's definitely indeeding himself. Really got a great feed out. A terrific run. Wow, to put that pass with the alley That's green. And Wiggins will help him close the gap, and that should do it. The Warriors extends their lead series 3-0. Their final score, 55-43.
It's an excellent run here for tonight. They got a lead here, and one more can be to advance to the finals. And the chance now to catch you on the sideline to close the game, we have is David Aldridge. All right, Dave, you take the finish here. Thanks very much, Stefan. This crowd tonight was energized by the show that you put on. What is that connection like? All right, David, thank you very much for your time, and thank you for watching the Western Conference Finals of the Warriors and Suns. We'll see you next time here for Game 4 back at Chase Center, and it might be a win or go home for Phoenix Suns if they can try to get up on the board. If not, then the Warriors will be extending their run to the Finals in for the 2K22. And now to close things off here will be Life Rain and Blueberry. Guys, it's all yours. Have a wonderful night here at the Golden State. Take care, folks. Until next time with me and me phone. All right, thank you. Thank you very much here. I really appreciate that one here. What's a fantastic run. Hey, something to say about yours. We had a great uh, team to go from here. The Warriors could be going to the finals for the first time. Indeed, Ryan. I'll see them here pretty soon. Hopefully, they can do it better. Hopefully. We'll, we'll see what they can do. But anyway, let's get started. First, we have to do the three star players of the game. Starting off with you, Blueberry. The take of this one is all yours to keep. Uh, let's go with you instead. Sure, uh, yeah, I'll do that, fine. Sorry about that. It looks like you already did the last time. Yes. Here, for number three, the, the free star players of the game is on the board. First up, we have here, it's turning to be one just like he had, Stephen Curry. 12 points in the game, 18 minutes on the court, 7 assists, 1 steal, and he did have it all down. Only 30 performed here for his good ability. Want to stop here? A lot of pressure can be on him. A terrific play. Now for number two, Blueberry, you take him here. Thank you. Number two, we also have called for the answer of the call in here. DeAndre Ayers has 16 points, 7 rebounds, and only made a performance of two dunks. Just 30 minutes on the court. It's tough inbound, off rebounds here was only three. Wasn't enough to get there perfect. And for number one, life ring. Yep, I do have that one call. This one really does stand out. Clay Thompson has 20 points, four rebounds, and one assist. Jessica got a great look of a use of one dunk here and 23 has performed. Well, it's just really a tough one that never really stands out the shock. But hopefully, those teams are definitely in ready for action here if they can win against the Suns to close them out. Well, we might be looking for upset. I'm thinking there might be one way to try to keep those in the range. Don't have to just apologize. Well, no apologizing to that one here, but uh, you, you will you will soon for me to you have your uh, ability, okay? Okay, it's just fine what I want. Anyway, thank you for watching for this game. I hope you enjoyed it so far. And if you haven't checked the last game, make sure you click on the calling card right down there. Thanks for in the description here too. If you're on social media. Yep, definitely want to keep going. I won't be lonely again if you subscribe to this channel. Yeah, and remember to subscribe to this channel. We're going to have tons of more here for the postseasons. And then we'll get back to you back in the show for here for the deals. So far, it's very too long. I don't know what to do. It's nothing but the choice. So anyway, thank you for watching, and until next time, peace out everyone for a while as the NBA Western Conference Finals of 2K22 Dial. I'm Lightbring, along with Blueberry. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Good night!